The Unit 56 Field Regiment has been around for some time, but because of its dispersion, both geographically and historically, it is sometimes misunderstood amongst its contemporaries and even its own membership. Still, it has a rich history and continues to be a leading artillery unit today and a steward of a number of storied units it perpetuates. This is Five Interesting Facts of 56 Field Regiment. 56 Field Regiment covers one of the largest geographical footprints in 32 Brigade, 4 Division, and perhaps Ontario. It has three locations dispersed amongst the Niagara Peninsula, one per each of its ceremonial batteries. 10 Battery occupies the Lake Street Armories in St. Catharines. 5-4 Battery is housed alongside the regimental headquarters at the Sir William Merrifield VC Armory in Brantford, and 6-9 Battery is housed at the Frederick Hobson VC Armory in Simcoe. Although officially named 56 Field Regiment Royal Canadian Artillery on 20 November 1975, the regiment itself perpetuates a lineage of numerous units, many of them non-artillery, back to 28 September 1866, when the 37th Haldeman Battalion of Rifles were authorized to be formed in York, Ontario. Throughout the early part of the Royal Regiment's history, continuity of tradition was traditionally at the battery level. Batteries were the basic unit of artillery organizations and were then brigaded as required for training or operational purposes. Organization above battery level therefore underwent numerous changes while batteries retained specific community or geographical identity. Following the Second World War, Batteries were grouped into regiments on a relatively permanent basis and continuity by regiment became the norm. During reorganizations, however, batteries were sometimes reassigned to a new regiment or given the status of independent batteries. This is why 10 Battery is noted as serving in World War I before the official formation of 56 Field 30 years later. However, 5-4 and 6-9 batteries both perpetuate units that saw combat in global conflict. For example, 6-9 Battery is perpetuated by the 33rd Battery, which distinguished itself during the clearing of the Schwelt Estuary in the Second World War. The previous commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence Hatfield, was originally an infantry officer, having been the former commanding officer of the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders of Canada. But it wasn't the first time he served for 56 Field. His extensive Army Reserve service began in 1989 when he joined the 56 Field Engineer Squadron in his hometown of St. John's, Newfoundland. To compound on the spooky coincidence, before moving back to Newfoundland, the address of his home was 56 in Hamilton. Maybe it was destiny that he had come to 56? I don't know, but one can deny that's a lot of 56 in one man's life. During the Afghanistan conflict, 56 Field had an impressive 60 to 70% of its then active members step up to deploy overseas. It's a great relief and strike of luck that all of the gunners and soldiers that deployed in fact returned home. While the unit does not field an entire regiment by doctrine, the unit takes pride in the lineage of its three garrison batteries. An annual exercise and regimental parade is held for an operation that each battery fought in during one of the great wars. 10 Battery has FTX Gravenstaffel Gunner and St. Julian's Day Parade in St. Catharines in April in honor of the battle during the Great War. 5-4 Battery has Operation Gothic Line Gunner and Valor Day in Brantford. And 6-9 Battery has Operation Switchback Gunner and the Warriors Day Parades in Simcoe, Norfolk County. The unit also recognizes its shared community with six nations and recognizes Oshwegan annually in October in addition to its regular Remembrance Day duties.